Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with the 10 box rookie stars and legends random team mixer, baseball mixer number uh, number one. Uh, we obviously knew we accidentally posted the wrong picture right there, so I took an actual picture of the uh, of the break. So if you go to at Jaspies Hobbyland on Twitter, you'll be able to see that. So thanks everybody. So thanks to these folks for getting into the break. And all teams are in, so there were 30 spots sold. We're gonna randomize each list eight times, six and a two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Brian Evans, you're on the poll. Kyle in the number 30 spot. Eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Cardinals on top, Rockies on the bottom. Trades are allowed. I'll, I'll give everyone a couple moments to trade. Brian, Cardinals, Mike, Nationals, Dennis, Yankees, Dano, Astros, Reno, Rangers, Johnny, Orioles, Ruben, Braves, Trevor, Red Sox, Calvin, Mariners, Greg with the Mets, Rich, Diamondbacks, Dano, Rays, Kip Kip Hooray, Angels, Michael Van Wy, Indians, Nick LaPlante, Brew Crew, Josh C, Pirates, Phillies for Casey, Jays for Michael Van Wy, Karen, you have the Marlins, Trevor T, Last Spot Mojo, Oakland A's, Mike Koontz with the Reds, Andrew, Wagner, little Dodger Joe Mojo right here, Josh York Twins, Dennis with the Cubs, Dano with the Tigers and the White Sox, Big Boys 007 with the Royals, Ryan Evans, Giants, Trevor T with the Padres, and Kyle Kramer with the Colorado Rockies. So there you go, folks. That's the uh, randomizing portion of the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. Believe it or not, there were not one, but two trades. We got two blue teams were traded. So a Andrew sends the Dodgers to Dennis. Cubs going to Andrew. And two red teams were traded. The Cardinals, the Redbirds, go to Mike Koontz. And the Reds go to Brian Evans. There you go. Those are your trades. Everybody else stands pat. All right. Good luck, everybody. So we're going to start with this side first and then kind of work our way to the left. We're going to start off with 2015... Bone Baseball Asia Edition. I think the Asia Edition, I think the checklist is essentially the same. I think the Asia Edition may have like an extra parallel in there or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out. Good luck, everyone. Uh, I'll bet Vet Base doesn't ship in this, right? Yeah, no Vet Base ships in this. It could be a box full of... I, Rich, said, Rich, Rich thinks it sounds racist? No, it's just Asia Edition. I mean, it'd be racist if... Well, I won't, I won't say it, but... I mean, it'd be racist if they if they were being racist. No, this just was sold to the this just sold to the Asian market. That's it. If anything, it's racist against us Americans that we don't that we don't get this product until like a year later. Why are we discriminated against? No, oh, Tops and Bowman said, "Oh no, we're we're just sending this to we're just sending this to uh, to the Asia market, so they get to get all the fun." Heck, with their extra parallels. I think that's extra parallel. I have no idea what's extra about it. It's an extra parallel, right? Yeah, Johnny, it just started. This is box one. All right. Here we go, folks. Good luck. 
So we'll breeze through these. And I think, so this stuff like this will ship. Um, I'll be willing to bet that the, Nick didn't post this in the, in the, uh, in the item description. I wouldn't be, don't be surprised if we don't ship these paper base. We traditionally don't. This got the, everything else will ship though, except for vet base, stuff like that. Little mini will ship. Stuff like this will ship. Marcelo Ozuna, might as well sleeve this up. I think this might be Asia exclusive, I'm pretty sure. Jake Bowers, it's a different wave right here. That'll go to the Padres, that'll be for uh, Trevor. There's Scott Shevler, who's now on the Reds, but that'll still go to the Dodgers. Luis Lugo, Yasmani Tomas. And there's a redemption here. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Kind of breeze through these. Kyle Schorber, Mini, Joe Ross, We've got Greg Bird, Ice, put a bird on it. Another one of these waves. I don't think it should be expired. It's only this is only 2015. I'd be surprised if it was expired. That's gray paper. Adrian Sampson, 378 out of the 499 for the Pirates. That'll be for Josh C. And Forrest Wall. Oh, man. I thought that was going to be something different. It does look like it's something different, but it's not numbered. I'll set it aside just in case. Oh, see, there's another one right here. Henry Owens, Mini, <laughs> Mitch Marner saying, what's up, Joe? Sometimes these were autographed back in the day. <laughs> Dylan Strom in the house as well. Uh, Chi Wee Hoo, 002 out of 250, purple, paper. Tyler Beatty, mini. Set those aside. There's Nick Gordon. And there's that. Okay, so let's see what the redemption's all about. So I'll set these, I'll sleeve these up later. I'll set these aside. All right. You are due to receive the farm's finest mini autograph of Henry Owens, Red Sox, Trevor T with that one. Good old Henry Owens. And not expire, doesn't expire until 2018. So plenty of time. All right, that was 2015 and now 2017. Austin Matthews is also here. That's kind of fun. Lee, what's going on? Real Regicidal in the house. Yeah, it isn't a break until a Henry Owens auto is pulled. This is for truth. 
Now it's a break. <laughs> All right, so that was 2015. Now we are in 2000. Oh, I should have gone to 2016. Tops current, whatever. So this is now 2017. Then we'll go backwards to 2016. Mitch Marner wants to know, Mitchell Marner, sorry. Mitch Mitch Marner wants to know if we can get to a free break since you're famous. I think you have the money to buy into your own breaks, Mitch. If you want to break here at the store, you can come by. We'd love to have a celebrity, uh, a, a uh, an athlete, professional athlete breaking with us. So swing, come on by. Um... Uh, yeah, I heard top tops may be a little more strict about expired redemptions, but I think in some occasions I've heard they will honor them in some sort of way. Panini, I hear, is the most friendly. Oh yeah, Austin Matthews is going to come too. Um, it's in California, Southern Cal Redondo Beach, California, not too far from the Staples Center, where the Kings play. So next time you guys are in town playing the Kings, swing on by. We're the local card shop around the Redondo Beach area. For those of you watching the replay at home and not, and you can't see the chat, it's not really Mitch Marner and it's not really Austin Matthews. But it's kind of funny, so I'm going with it. All right. So this is 2017. Again, I it does it doesn't say in the item description, but don't be surprised if that paper base uh, doesn't ship, and the vet base won't ship either. But you know, inserts like this will ship. Chad Hermanson buyback for the Pirates. The, that foil stamp right there often indicates the level of short printed as that goes to Josh C and the Pirates. Chris Sale Blue should be numbered. Yep, 48 out of 150. For the Red Sox, that'll go to Trevor. Uh, and Ariel Hurado, 213 out of 299. For the Rangers, there he is again. That'll go to Reno with the Rangers. Yes, that is his name, Rookie. I like the old school card styles in here too. Yvonne Rodriguez. Eric Fed, Ahmed Rosario. Austin Meadows, not Austin Matthews, Austin Meadows, Pirates Prospect. Nick Birdie for the uh, Twins, not the Reds, Twins, 42 out of 250. Purple Paper, that goes to the Twins, that'll be Josh York. See, that, that's silver foil right there. I don't know what the difference is, but I think Beckett may have a guide on that, on the foil stamps. Corey Patterson, buyback for the Cubs. And that'll go to Andrew. Got the Cubs in a trade. And there is your autograph. Jarrell Cotton, 489 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Oakland A's. That'll go to Trevor T with the last spot mojo. <laughs> Mitch Marner says, if I come to the store, can I get a discount because you're pretty low on money because you're stuck on that entry-level contract? Considering, Mitch, that your future earnings should be a lot higher. No, it's hockey, right? Let's 
Well, I mean, it is pretty. It is pretty, you know, somewhat creative or funny as far as trolls go. Not like the other obnoxious ones. <laughs> I know. I'm encouraging it. This isn't. Josh Hader for the Brewers, 97 out of 150. And that goes to Nick LaPlante. So nice Jarrell Cotton. Let me sleeve all these up. I'll top load all these. Uh, top load all these later. I'm just going to move on just in the interest of time. And I want to see one order coming in, folks. Triple Threads uh, football, I believe, is the closest to filling next. So we should definitely knock that out. All right. There you go. 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. All right, so this is Top Chrome Baseball. Uh, I think the box said two autograph, two autographs per box in this, plus parallels, and six left on the Triple Darts football. All right, 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. Two autos, good luck everybody. Here we go. Future stars, Brandon Phillips, Prism. That will ship, but it's not numbered. Just gotta get myself, re-familiarize re myself with this set. I'll go the A's. George Springer, Byron Buxton Refractor, Carl Edwards Jr. Justin Upton, Future Stars, Addison Russell. That should be number, yep, gold, seven out of 50 for the Cubs. Uh, that would be for Andrew. There's our first auto, Tony Zyke. Mariners, that goes to Calvin. Manny Machado, Prism. Purple Yachty, 162 out of 275, going to the Cardinals. That'll be for Mike Koontz. And there's our second autograph. Rookie Auto, Ryan Dull. Oakland A's with another autograph. And that'll be another one for Trevor in that last bot mojo.
All right, uh, let's do these archives first. Then we'll do tech, then we'll curl around. We'll do the uh, two odysseys, then we'll do leaf best of, and then we'll end with dynasty. All right, good luck. That's just a facsimile autograph, not real. That's real, Jose Rio. That goes to the Reds, Brian Evans, with the World Series champ, Jose Rio. Sometimes some of these are numbered. None here. And the next one. <laughs> Kyle's like, I'm breaking in those Rockies hits. I don't know. <laughs> Kyle doesn't get into breaks that often, but he gave this one a good sporting try. Ended up with the Rockies. Well, I don't know. You never know. You never know. Got to play to the whistle. Bull Durham. And Sandy Alomar as an angel autograph. Nice. That goes to the Angels. Kip, Kip, hooray. I think, we, I think we've sent these to the Braves, right? I'm pretty sure that they were the, the... The Durham Bulls were the Atlanta Braves farm team back then. Okay. High tech baseball, also Asia edition. Also different parallels in here. That's what differentiates it. I don't think I think the checklist is pretty much the same after that though. All right, good luck. We're getting there almost to the end. Andres Galarraga, Matt Harvey. What year is this? What year is it? 2016. Luis Gonzalez, Buster Posey, and Roberto Alomar for the Tribe. Cleveland Indians, that would be Michael Van Wy. And Roberto Alomar again for Michael Van Wy. Six out of 60 gold. That might be a shorter print. And there's Matt Kemp as a Padre. Nice Roberto Alomar, Tribe Edition. And let's go right here. Um, rules on this. I have, to, I have to think about all the different possibilities that might come out here. Uh, if the team is not clearly stated, like let's say it's just a blank piece of paper and it's so-and-so's autograph on it we'll use a variation of our college rules which says that it goes to the team they played for the longest right or if they're a manager the team they managed the longest we'll just kind of use our common sense there um hopefully that won't be a huge issue <laughs> rules kyle says they all go to the rockies and eh, there could be i don't know it could be todd helton in there um but most of these should have some sort of team attached to it. These also have fun little cards too. Okay. Uh, okay. I think it's gonna. Okay. This. It says on. It says the team on the card, so that's where it'll go. Okay. You guys ready? Time to guess. Seven-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger. Four-time uh, top 10 MVP voting and 3,000 hit club. Oh, this might be a randomizer. Uh, 1987 Hutch Award. 
1993 AL Babe Ruth Award, Hall of Famer in 2004, 1993 World Series MVP. Was he? No, he was not. Was he really the 1993 World Series MVP? He was. Oh. So this could be two different teams. Hopefully, there'll be something on here that um, that indicates which team he's supposed to go to. And his number four was retired by a different team, not the World Series team. And it's Paul Molitor. There you go. PSA DNA Paul Molitor. So here's the thing. We have to use our uh, the rules that I just said, that uh, the team that he played for the longest will be our rule. I didn't realize that Paul Molitor won the 1993 World Series MVP. All right, so going to Paul Molitor's baseball reference page, did he play for the Brewers the longest? He clearly did. Yeah, he very clearly played for the Brewers for 15 seasons. He only spent three seasons in Toronto. And he just he got the chip and he was just like, good, I'm done. Yeah, he spent 15 seasons in, in Toronto. Or I'm sorry, 15 seasons with the Brewers. His first 15 seasons with the Brewers. Three with Toronto and then three to end his career with the Twins. So there you go. All right, so using our sort of variation of the college rule, team he played for the longest, Brewers. So there you go. That'll be Milwaukee Brewers, Nick LaPlante. All right. Next one. Oh, sorry. Should it be should it be the Rockies edition of Paul Molitor? <laughs> Rob's just like, just give the man something. All right, what do we have in here? Oh, there's I think there's two things in here. There's two things in here. Are they both this person? No, they can't be. All right, two different things in here. So that's good. And one of them looks like a cut auto. One of them might have the team on it. So, right, so there's one that's a cut auto. So that'll go to the team he played for the longest. And this one will be whatever team that's on there. All right. Uh, I guess this is pretty easy. Seven-time All-Star, three-time NL Relief Award, 478 saves. I think he's not in the Hall of Fame. He has 478 saves, and he is not in the Hall of Fame. Which is kind of a shame. I, th I thought he had a chance. He may not have any more eligibility. He might be he might be voted in by a committee or something like that. Yeah, he's third on the all-time saves list. Right, and not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Trevor Hoffman has 601. He's second. This person is third. Mariano Rivera is number one with 652 saves. Trevor Hoffman is two on the all-time saves list, 601. And this person is third at 478. Behind him is Francisco Rodriguez, actually, 437. Lee Smith. So, and it's Cubs edition of Lee Smith. See, that's pretty clear right there. 1982 tops, Lee Smith autograph. All right, they're just above his facsimile autograph, too. So that, that's Andrew Wagner who actually got the Cubs in a trade. All right, next person. 1961 NL Rookie of the Year. 1972 Sporting News Player of the Year. 1972 NL Batting Crown. Six-time All-Star. Nine times top 10 in home runs. Hall of Fame in 1987.
and he played for he played for one team for 16 seasons so it'll go to that team and he in the last two years of his career he played for the Oakland A's but his first 16 seasons was with the same team kind of an old school guy Billy Williams Chicago Cubs that's another one So that's another one for the Cubs. So there are both actually Cubs in here. And that'll go to Andrew Wagner. All right, next one. One buyback card and then one leaf acetate card right there. All right, so the first one is AJ Puck. Sometimes these are numbered. But this one will go to the A's, Trevor with that one. All right, and what do we have here? I'm cheating, I'm looking. It's a graded card and autograph. The grade is a 910. And it's the dirt bike racer, Madison Bumgarner. 9-5, centering edges and, well, centering and edges are 9-5. Corners, 9. Surface, 8.5. That's a 9. Autograph, a 10. Madison Bumgarner from Bowman Chrome. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. So a little opposite Joe Mojo, Oppo Joe going to the Giants, Brian Evans. There you go. And last, but not least, Topps Dynasty Baseball. Good luck, everybody. Oh, you're welcome, Brian. Any guests on the last card? Andrew Garner saying, hey. Andy's like, hey, guess the last card. Nolan Ryan says, Dano. Yeah, John Parker, we should have triple threads done after this and maybe a tri-star. Maybe another tri-star, and that might bring us to the end of the night. All right. Game use memorabilia. Autograph. It's Robin Yount. Three out of five Robin Yount. Two color, three color patch, an on card autograph, three out of five Robin Yount. So you got Paul Molitor and Robin Yount, Nick LaPlante. And you were trying to trade the Brewers too, weren't you? Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo and Nick LaPlante all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! And that's it, folks. That was your break. That was the Jaspies 10 box rookies, stars, and legends random team mixer from jaspieshobbyland.com on a Saturday. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.